What is going on everyone and today we are here for the week 8 recap of From the Beginning and we were at Alton Park in the Island Historic Layout for week 8. Um, it was a pretty interesting week, unfortunately didn't have much time this week, I had a few other commitments so I only was able to get one race done in the MX-5 um, but that one race counted really well and we actually won the race as you'll see in the upcoming video so was pretty happy with the result of that um, had an absolutely fantastic battle with two other guys and we sort of gapped the rest of the field and then just with about four or five laps to go just got into it really aggressive with each other good hard fair racing a few little bits and bumps here and there but it wasn't anything sort of ill-natured or anything like that it was just hard aggressive racing so had an absolute ball with that um so you'll get to see some of the footage of that in a minute because it was it was pretty it was pretty heated that's for sure so um yeah so apart from that obviously we head to summit point this week so if you want to check out that track guide plus all the other track guides we've done for the mx5 that video will be just up here so you can click on that playlist and you can go through what's coming the new video will be released on the wednesday at about 10 p.m aest so Australian Eastern Standard Time um, so hopefully you guys get something out of that uh, but yeah so that's pretty much all that's happened this week really so uh, just going to go through that pretty briefly and just uh, sort of show you guys how I sort of plan to make a few passes and that sort of stuff so hopefully you get something out of that and then we'll recap the result for the week and the championship standings and see where we're sitting after the eight weeks and then start to work on our drop round so Thank you to everybody that has, or if you haven't and you're interested, please hit that subscribe button below. It really means a lot, guys. Turn on them notifications. If you're getting something out of our content, it really helps to support the channel. So we really appreciate that. Um, but if not, let's get into the week eight recap at Alton Park. All right, guys. So we just wanted to show you the start of the race in what we did so we got a pretty good start the leader covered it off straight away so we went straight to the outside to give us the biggest turn in to actually carry some momentum through had a pretty good run out of turn one it's obviously not enough to get up alongside the 12 but we got very close so as we came in we braked a little bit early as you see he drove in quite deep i'm able to get right to the apex and focus on carrying all that speed out i use all the exit road get a very good run now he's already going very defensive here so i decide to go back to the outside break a little bit early he outbreaks himself and he sails on par so just by positioning yourself in the right spot and giving yourself a little bit of extra wiggle room and pressure you're able to make people force into a mistake quite early all right so now we've just jumped forward to lap seven and uh, car 12 makes a bit of a dive down the inside gets a good run but I decide to hold and do the switch back and get to his outside now this is where I made a little mistake and I should have just braked early and tucked him behind but I decided to try and fight him on the outside I get quite a lot of understeer coming through the corner I actually drop to third position as well so I lose two places in one corner um, but then I sort of decide that I'm just going to get back on the racing line be patient and see what opportunities open for so I take a bit of a wider entry to really focus on the exit drive up the hill I know that the car in front of his car 11 was definitely having some issues at this next high speed corner so I sort of situated myself in a position to get a really good run through here so I was able to carry a lot more momentum see how early he was braking compared to us we were able to flow the car and get a really good run up the bridge I decide to go to the in or to the outside of him which will end up being the inside at the next corner and this is where the first little bit of contact happens because it gets tight we're both fighting for the corner there's a little bit of contact mid corner and then we both came through it all okay, but it was just that little knock-on effect. He decides to drive to my inside to try and get a pass done. I outbreak him on the outside and get the move done here. Alright, so after passing car 11, we decide to start hunting down car 12 again. So this is lap 8. So we focus on a really good exit out of 1. As you can see, we actually make very good pace out of here and do close the gap quite quickly to the car in front. As we're coming down the hill, brake about the same part as him, 
I get a bit of a slide going, but I'm able to pick the throttle up quite early and still carry that speed out of the corner. So I know roughly where my car is strongest, and my car seems to be stronger on the back half of the section. So I break deep here, try and close the gap up. I do close the gap, but he gets a bit of a better drive out of here, just, just by half a car length or so. So then I start to focus myself, all right, I know that the next corner, I'm very strong, and I move my way that way. So as we're coming down to the next corner, I'm going to try and carry it speed through the corner to set myself up for the next section. He brakes quite late. I actually try and push the car to a pretty high limit, get a little bit of slide going, but able to keep it within track limits. Up the hill we go, I'm starting to close the gap. I know he's quite strong through here, but I know he's a little bit weak at the final corner. He actually makes a little tiny mistake here and runs wide, and this gives me the opportunity to get to the inside. Now, once I get to the inside, I know that I'm going to have position down to the final corner going to the white flag. Breaks late, misses his marker, and runs wide. So that gives us the opportunity to sweep up on the inside, carry the speed out, and chase it over the start-finish line. One more lap and we lead the last lap and win the race. Okay, so race one of the week for week eight at Alton Park has been pretty successful. So back to second split again. Um, we did jump in a little bit later than normal. I think it was nearly... Uh, I think it was nearly 11 o'clock. Yeah, so it was 11 a.m. We did the race this week, so um, which usually we're about 9 a.m., so a couple of hours behind this week. So um, still split two, but the strength of field's a little bit higher, and the top strength of field is very high with 2,600. So that's pretty cool. Um, in regards to the race itself, we had a fantastic battle with Lorenzo and Matteo. Um, the racing between the three of us was, was pretty intense the whole way through so and we sort of gapped the rest of the field by nine seconds so pretty happy with how that went a um, little bit of contact here and there but it was good hard racing so I don't mind that so much couple of off tracks along the way um, and we did have a four contact with door-to-door -door with Lorenzo as we came through the sort of really tight double hander um, to the right before you head down to the final corner heading towards the start finish line so but there was no ill in it it was just tight bit of racing and yeah we knocked front ends and that was about it so overall really happy with that scored 106 championship points again so that's given us a nice bump for the week um didn't quite get the fastest lap was the third fastest out of the cars but managed to put the car in the right positions as you saw throughout the video so pretty happy with that guys all right, guys, so looking at the championship standings for the week, and we are really excited. We have just cracked into the top 50 out of 30,980 drivers. So that in itself is a nice little goal. The goal for the season was to be in the top 50. So the fact that we've just peaked into that by a couple of spots at the moment, I'm pretty I'm pretty pumped with. So that's, um, that's a very successful little start. And we will just check out the rookie division that we started in out of 14,057 drivers we are p1 now so we've actually um, continued to stay in p1 um, the gap looks like it's about 24 points so it's about where it was last week actually so that's pretty good so um, that's not too bad the probably the one I'm a little bit concerned about looking at that is Jonas in third's only done six races is this only 40 points behind us now so we really need to start extending our lead on some of these championship weeks I think there was a couple of races where we were in the 60 70 point mark so um, if we can have a couple of weeks where we scored the 106 105 points like we have been the last two weeks um, that will definitely just maybe bump us up close to that 800 and give us a little bit more of a buffer over Jonas. Um, Cam's done his weeks now, so even Nancy Fox as well is looking quite um, good back there in in fifth place with 656 points. So 100 points behind, but they're three weeks behind. So um, they could definitely be a threat towards the end of the season as well. So we're definitely looking out for third and fifth at the moment. Um, but yeah, so far so good. So we will continue to keep building. Um, obviously had another really decent week this week, as you saw. And uh, that's it, guys. So thank you for tuning in.